That alone tells you that you have to take undergraduate classes because okay. a master's will not fulfill prereqs. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A brought to you by Blueprint MCAT. How are you doing today? Doing good, thank you. What can I help you with? Yes, uh, uh, first I want to say thank you so much uh, for just like uh, agreeing to sort of take my question. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. But um, so a little bit about like my sort of my case, I guess. Um, I'm, a, I'm a last year um, college student. I'm my, um, I'm my undergrad. And so I have had a bit of a rocky time during my college years. I had a lot of like personal stuff that uh, popped up. I was um, had a lot of health issues. And so I was in and out of uh, like school for a while. I missed a couple of semesters and stuff like that. Um, and so by the time uh, that I'm going, I'm graduating next semester, I will graduate with a 3.0 GPA. Okay. And so in my last year, I decided that I, um, I wanted to go to medical school. I that was my plan when I first um, uh, when I first started college. But like I sort of talked myself out of it, and I became really discouraged with the idea of like being in school for like 10, 12 years, and I really <laughs> didn't have like a good support system to like you know sort of like talk me through those things. And yeah. so once I um I so now that I've decided to go, I obviously have like, this big hurdle of like my GPA and also the fact that like I have worked full time for this past four years. So I don't really have a lot of extracurriculars. And so I'm currently like working on um, like d doing more volunteering opportunities and sort of getting more um doing more like uh, uh, activities, you know, like outside of school to sort of pad my, my application. Okay. Um, so my original thought was to maybe do a second bachelor's degree in something more like in, in chemistry, but I was like, I sort of did some research on that and everyone seems to sort of advise against that. So um, I'm thinking that maybe with like my grades now, maybe I'll be able to do a master's um, and so I want to do a master's in chemistry because I do need to take, you know, the next year and a half to do, um, um, and to do research. Like I will, I will probably need that for my application. Uh, but obviously I will have to take some, like, you know, some other, um, uh, like, you know, like chemistry 101 and 102, like, you know, to even be able to qualify for that. So I'm not really sure. Like I have started working on um, sort of um, other uh, like activities, like I'm getting an EMT certification. I'm working as a hospital aide. I started volunteering um, at a um, at a cancer research in institute that's near me. Um, it's a, uh, I'm not in like a, a patient. I don't have necessarily interaction with patients, but um, I am, I'm working, I'm set to start working as a scribe in the next year. Um, so like I am sort of doing things to, uh, you know, to show like ambitions that I do have an interest in this, but it's sort of like my, I do have like not such a great academic record and I, yeah. I understand that. So I'll, I'll start with the last statement that you made that you're doing things to show the admissions committee so you have an interest in this. Flip that thinking. You're doing things to prove to yourself that you have an interest in this, right? I, mean, I know that I do. Um, yeah. But but how do you know you do until you actually get the experiences, which is what you're doing? So it's just, yeah. I'm, I'm just ch having you flip that language because too many students go through this process doing things for the admissions committees. And then they're just, they're just not happy because they're like, well, I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for them. No, do it for yourself. Do the things that you want to do. And yes, get clinical experience to prove to yourself that you like taking care of patients. Get shadowing to prove to yourself that you understand that you like the role of a physician. Do it for yourself and then show them. Okay, so just, yeah. a, just a flip of thinking there. So I, let's go back to the beginning. You, you, had, you, you gave me lots of stuff to work with. Let's, let's go back okay. to the beginning. Second degree. You mentioned mm -hmm. getting a degree in chemistry. You said people don't recommend that. Why don't mm -hmm. people recommend that? I don't, um, I don't know, from what I've read, uh, like it doesn't show progress, I think. That's that's what I read. Like I'm saying like, uh, yeah, like I I found this online. I have no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I don't present, I'm not going to stand by that. But yeah, okay. from, like, what I, from what I understand, it doesn't show like uh, 
to like I, I would not I wouldn't be progressing in my education. Like it's not like I'm doing the exact same thing twice. I'm just so so there's there's some truth to that, right? If you just go and take all of the same classes again, mm-hmm. then you you got B's the first time, now you get A's. Are those A's really as beneficial because it's just the same classes all over again? So a second degree doesn't help anything. Okay. It's not the degree. It's taking classes and doing well to show that you are academically capable of doing well in medical school. Mm-hmm. So don't worry about do I need a second degree? Do I need this? Do I need that? The goal is take more classes and take as many upper division classes as possible. So okay. instead of repeating Chem 1, Chem 2, Bio 1, Bio 2, unless you got C minuses in those, in which case they don't count as prereqs, you need to retake them. Or if you don't think you have a core knowledge base, a foundational knowledge base, good enough to improve and do well in like the next upper division class, then you should potentially think about retaking it. But if you don't need to retake it for for those reasons, then there's really no reason to retake those classes. You should just go take more other classes, other science classes cell biology, genetics, other upper division science classes to help show that you are academically capable of doing well in medical school. Now, you could go do a master's. I typically don't recommend master's programs unless you need to do it for financial reasons because taking undergrad classes, you don't uh, qualify typically for financial aid anymore. And so a lot of students will go the master's route, but schools seem to like undergraduate courses better than master's courses to prove academic ability. Now, that's just a general kind of just consensus out there. Now, there are some schools, there are plenty of schools out there that will look at that master's program and master's degree and go, great, we like it, we don't care about your undergrad, let's let's keep talking. So, but generally, undergrad is going to be a little bit better if you if you can do it if i can do okay um i don't know i probably i'm sorry i did throw a lot of you um my degree is not in like it's not in a stem like i have i have a business doesn't matter okay okay so like i did take i was pre-med for my first year so i do have like some core curriculum but then it's not a lot okay not a lot of it at all okay so you would recommend that i do that like i do uh, like another like another undergrad? Like, do you think that'll be... I, I, again, like, you don't need to to get another degree. Yeah. You need to take oh. classes. More, more classes. Okay. Okay. Um, and it also, so if, okay, and just in terms of like, okay, so I just need to take more classes. So they don't necessarily need to be upper, they don't necessarily need to be upper class, upper, um, like um, graduate level classes, they can just, I just need more like credit hours. And do you think that like, so in that, that will not like um, count negatively against me? I mean, like, I don't know, in the grand scheme of things. It may, but but what's going to count negatively? I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. I'm just really afraid that like, I, I just, I'm not like, it's not like I'm not progressing, you know, like I'm not, I'm just, it just, I'm, I'm afraid of like. But you, you just told me that you scared. haven't taken a lot of science classes. Yeah, I mean, I haven't. I haven't. So how can you not show progression? Okay. <laughs> if you're taking science courses you've never taken before. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Um, and just like in terms of, so that would, if I do that, that will like give me, um, the ability to like, uh, like do get more research opportunities and sort of like get, you know, like a, a decent amount of like research hours. So research, um, research is, you've mentioned research now like three or four times. Research yeah. is one of the most overrated parts of a medical school application. Okay. You don't have to have um, research. If you want to have research, great. You don't have to have it. So don't delay things or change things around just to get research. You don't have to do that. Okay. Um, cause I have like, um, I am 
working I'm, I'm set to start working at a hospital and I'm set to start working as an aide which is like it's not very it's not very glamorous but it'll give me a lot of like you know face to face with patients perfect and and I am set to um, I'm taking like an EMT certification course as well are you going to work as an EMT or are you just doing the certification um well if I take I'm not really if if I pass the certification, I might start working as an EMT. Okay. The certification um, doesn't mean anything. So yeah. it's it's what are you going to do with it? So if you yeah. go and work as an EMT, great. If you're not going to work as an EMT, then you're taking the, the class for nothing, really. No, I uh, I was planning to like work as an okay. EMT. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah ev- everything um, you mentioned previously sounds good, right? You mentioned okay. lots of clinical experience. That all sounds great. Okay. Um, and so what else do you like in terms of like, I don't know, um, like extracurriculars would sort of like help me? Um, cause I have like, what, know, what, like, so, so go, go back, go back yeah. to my, my comment earlier. My first mm-hmm. comment to you, don't do things for the medical school, do okay. them for yourself. What do you want to do? Um, what do you have time to do? Okay. All right. I am, um, I don't know, I'm doing, um, I work as a, I volunteer in, in, in a museum, which I think like, I really awesome. like this far. Yeah. So, um, that was my question. My big, uh, my big hang up is whether or not I should like go try to go for a master's or whether or not I should like stay and like do another undergraduate. So again, like, you, you, you keep saying another undergrad, like you don't know. know another, there's no another, mm-hmm. just classes. Okay, yeah, okay. more classes. And the fact that you haven't taken your prereqs yet, at mm-hmm. least all of them, mm-hmm. that alone tells you that you have to take undergraduate classes because okay. a master's will not fulfill prereqs. Okay. Undergraduate mm-hmm. science classes. One year of chemistry, one year of biology, one year of physics, one year of English, one year organic mm-hmm. chemistry and biochemistry are the typical mm-hmm. prereqs that you need for medical school. Okay. A master's program will not fulfill those. They will not. Okay. Okay. All right. So then I will, um, I will do that. I will do that. It's a, um, yeah, that was, that was really my, like my big question. I feel like, okay. I'm so sorry. I feel like I don't have, like, no, you're fine. Um, a lot of like, that was my, the, the, the one thing that's been sort of torturing me a little bit, um, yeah. lately, um, because, um, let me see, I'm not really worried about like clinical and like doing like volunteer stuff because i feel like i've been pretty uh uh, like industrious and like finding those out and like seeking those things out yeah it sounds Um, like you're good there um i'm just like uh really worried about the academic part because i have like i don't know i have confidence in my ability to like perform academically and like i have now i'm not working like the same hours i was anymore so i'll have more time for my um or uh, like for, for school. Um, yeah. but, um, That's the biggest yeah. thing is yeah. when you restart your academic journey, B's, mm-hmm. B's aren't going to cut it. You need A's. Yeah. So make sure yeah. that you're setting yourself up for success. Yeah, no, I, I, I am. I've, I've, I've cut out a lot of stuff and I'm good. like, I'm not, I don't work as many hours anymore. Good. I essentially don't work anymore, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't have any okay. other questions. I don't... No worries. No. no worries. Thanks for coming on. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, it, it has been. It has been. It's been really helpful. Thank when you. when you start prepping for the MCAT, that's going to be a big part in your journey. You can actually go right now. Go to blueprintmcat.com and okay. get access to uh, for free their flashcard platform. Sixteen hundred plus pre made flashcards that you can start utilizing now. Start okay. memorizing the information, kind of the the nuances that you're going to have to know for the MCAT. So go check that out. Blueprintmcat.com.